Yeah, firstly, I'd like to clarify that it's not a natural progression. It's uh, it's the same medium. Now, um, there are a lot of people who've done films before television, but they're still doing television right now. So it's not a progression or a climb like that. It's it's the same genre, same same medium. And uh, why alone? Uh, because well, it's a great script, and um, Bhushan sir is a great director. And, uh, it's an awesome production house and the film actually is a Thai, Thai horror film which is done quite well worldwide and uh, we've just kind of tweaked it to uh, suit our audience. It's a good film, that's why. Well, uh, the character that I'm playing, Kabir, he, uh, he's a very passionate person, especially about uh, the person that he's married to. and. Um, He's uh, also an architect, so he's, he's, he's creative in a way. But those things are not something that are shown in the film. Those are something that we as actors do uh, to kind of understand our character better. So since you asked about the character that I'm playing, so he's, uh, this, is, this is what uh, comprises or makes Kabir right now. No, not really. There was no uh, homework required as such. Only. Uh, the watching of the Thai film alone, which I actually chose not to watch. I wanted to watch our film before I watched that. So once I watch this, then I'll watch that. Because I did not want, um, the idea is already taken from there. Uh, it's their story. I didn't want anything else to influence me towards my performance. So that's why. It's not really much of coping up really. Because we work much longer and much harder in television for longer hours and uh, it's not we work less hard <laughs> in, in, in films or anything, it's just that, uh, uh, that there's more time, uh, there's, uh, uh, the production value is higher so there's much more money involved in it. It was actually, I was feeling very nice that I'm shooting for a film and I don't have to shoot for tomorrow's telecast, which normally we do on television shows and there's no stress like that. And it's also that we start a story and we end it and that's it. It does not go on and on forever. So this is it's quite making me very happy right now. The, the only challenge was uh, keeping up to Bipasha and, and, and trying to hear Bhushan sir say, Cut for class! It's awesome when he said that. I jumped once, hurt my back also, but it was awesome. There are, there, are, there are so many instances and there's so many days and hours that we've spent together. It's just that after working with him, I've realized that, you know, maybe I was not really having all that fun or being completely into what I'm supposed to before this. This is something that he's uh, made me realize by, by working with me. And uh, it's, it's been awesome working with him. Well, the story is very different. It's uh, our, our main uh, plus point is actually the story. It's a very good story. It's uh, it's something that we've not seen before. It, it is horror. It, there is uh, a lot of supernatural in it. There's a lot of uh, spine-chilling things that you'll see. But the story as such is quite different from normal horror films. Also, it's a very passionate love story as well. Yeah, but because, you know, the thing is, the scenes in this film are very, very, very scary. And to it, for it to happen to anybody, even if we are only acting, we still have to feel it. And once you feel something like that, that is happening, you cannot really disconnect from it suddenly. It stays with you. And there are times that, you know, in the future or, or, uh, or during the film, uh, sh shoot, you're constantly reminded of those things because it doesn't leave you. Because if it actually happened to you right then and you felt it, then you can't really let it go. It stays with you. So there's a lot of horrific memories <laughs> that I have in my head right now because we have to imagine so much. The, uh, the scariest scene in the film for me was the exorcism actually. 
like most horror films, the exorcism was very horrific. I mean, to actually enact in a way that that's happening in front of you, because you'll see, it's <laughs> it's unreal, man. It's uh, it's kind of like it brings back Omen, you know. It's very scary. The music is brilliant. I'm really lucky to be a part of a film which has such excellent music. Salute to the series. And my the song that I I like the most is Katra. It's uh, it's in the second half of the film, uh, and it's very uh, it's a very passionate song. Even the lyrics and the way we've shot it, it's very passionate and it's shot beautifully. That's that's the one I had the most fun shooting. I've I've heard obviously all the lines of the song, and I like all of them. Like I said, it's it's just that it's an intensely passionate song. Even the lyrics, even the way we shot it, and I think everything came together, and that's why it's it's stuck on everyone, and everyone stuck to it. <laughs>